I'm Lori Pillingsrinker, marketing and brand strategist with Brands That Deliver. I help clients grow their revenues and their brands and help them give back. I'm doing a blog and a video really highlighting companies that deliver profits, quadruple bottom line, and give back and impact society. Today I have with me Helen Russell, who is the CEO and co-founder of Equator Coffees. They're a B Corporation started in 1995 in right here in Marin County. Well, let's talk a little bit about, the, I mentioned that Helen was a B Corporation, and let's talk a little bit about what a B Corporation yep. is and how it impacts how you operate the business and your finances and growth. You know, B Corp was something that it was natural for us to be involved in. B Corp is a certification, just like an organic fair trade. Um, there's 200 um, questions that you have to take. Uh, Maureen mm. McHugh, who's our um, executive vice president and has a master's degree in sustainability, you know, I said to Maureen, probably, I think we've been a B Corp now since 2010, perhaps? Great. Um, we were actually the first coffee company in California, and I was so impressed with Patagonia becoming a B Corp. Yeah. B Corp is really about social, environmental, uh, economic impact, and it's a way to measure where you are as a company. And here we were, I was thinking we were doing all these great things, supporting our employees, paying a fair price for coffee, uh, the, the purveyors that we buy, espresso equipment and all those things, how we're treating our employees, how we're treating our customers. And so your farmers. And of course our farmers. And we'll tell the story a little bit later about how we own our own farm now and what we've learned over the last, oh my God, 10 years about owning our own farm, truly a labor of love. But this allowed us to Amazing. measure, right? This allowed us to take a measurement. So Maureen took the score and we just made an 80. I was like, oh my God, we're only an 80? We need to do better than that. So. We, look, we went back and we sort of thought, you know, talked about, Brooke and I and Maureen talked about how we can do more on the social side, the environmental side, and the impact side. And we were one of the first roasters to actually um, buy a, um, what's called a Loring Smart Roast, right? Mm -hmm. That's actually manufactured here in Petaluma, where it uses 80% less natural gas than oh, other roasters. Oh, that's great. So we've had a lot of firsts that we've been able to sort of bring into the company and be able to tell that story because people want the story. Right, customers want the story. The and you've got a great one. And we've got we've got a great story and we've you know, over thank you very much for that. But over the years we've so many people have say, People don't know that. You need to tell more of that. And I think that's part of being founder led, right? You're extremely humble, you've got your head down, you're working, and then as you grow the company and you bring more folks into the company, they're like we should tell that story. I think that would resonate. So I tell stories when I'm in front of folks, but I think now, um, you know, sort of adopting that chain of well-being where it's all really about stakeholder value, from the farmer right to the farmer's gate, out to the export and the importer, into our own roasting facility, and right into the cup. You know, so we call it the chain of well-being. It's something that I talked about early on that just resonated with me. You know, stakeholder value brilliant. is very different than shareholder value, mm -hmm. right? Shareholder value is about, which is great because I'm, you know, look, I'm a capitalist. I think it's really, really important to make money so you can do more things. We think about being profitable so we can do more things for other people. Absolutely. Right? If we can help our employees get their needs met, they're going to get the needs met of our customers. And it's just, it's just good business. And being a B Corp, you know, I remember I was interviewed about being a B Corp, and they're like, well, a lot of people are afraid to become a B Corp because they feel as if, you know, they're not going to be as profitable. However. <laughs> However, I mean, that's just not the case. I mean, we are a triple bottom line company that we have great top line, we have great, um, you know, earnings, and we have an opportunity to continue to grow this business um, in a very, very competitive environment. As you know, there's a lot of great coffee companies. Now in there the are Bay four area. ways to they evaluate. You. There's four pillars of the B Corp. Do you remember what? Well, it's definitely social, mm -hmm. right? It's really sort of what your impact is, how you're taking care of your employees, how you're taking care of your your farmers, environmental. What are you doing on the ground? So when we right. think about what we're doing at the roastery, for example, I mean, having an energy efficient roaster is number one. We were definitely trailblazers on that. And economic, how do we pay our people? How do we pay a fair price for the coffee that we purchase? Yeah. So within all of those, there's probably four or five pillars for each one of them, right? And we try to examine each pillar and do the best that we can. I mean, the company is, you know, when we think about our mission statement, 
um, you know, to champion uh, kindness and connection through the portal of coffee. Mm -hmm. So the portal of coffee can be at the farmer's gate, mm -hmm. or it can be at you know the threshold coming into our stores. That's great, right? And being able to tell that that story to our customers who are on the wholesale side, whether it be a LinkedIn, a Twitter, or a Google, and the guests that come in, you know, whether they're three years old, nine years old, or they're with their families and their grandmothers, and um, so it's about that portal of coffee and telling that story about human connection and kindness. And being kind is how you pay for coffee. You have to pay a fair price for coffee, right? So people can put back into their own, their own land and stay on their land and have opportunities. So we tell that story. If I'm sitting down with a wholesale customer like a Chef Thomas Keller of the French Laundry or I'm sitting down with a Google right, at a tech company or LinkedIn, it's really important to tell that story because it goes through all the noise. And people want to do the right thing and they want to pay the right price. Do you know that 50% of the consumers will pay more for a product or a brand if they have some kind of direct impact in the community? Yeah, I, and I 90, know that And 90% will choose a brand over another brand if they have some kind of cause associated with yeah. that brand. Yes, absolutely. I mean, that's not why you do it, but that's there are some why side we do benefits. It, but it is real, though. That is real. We do it because it appeals to our heart and mind. Thank you so, so much for coming. I just, again, Thank I'm, you for I'm coming. even more impressed with Equator and the chain of well-being that really impacts our community locally and worldwide. So I thank you so very much. Thank you so much. And check out the blog and the video on Equator on my site, Brands That Deliver. And I'm Lori Pillings-Rinker. Thank you.